I'm getting ready for these questions. Yo, what's up YouTubers, dancers, non-dancers? Welcome to the first edition of Ask a Paradox. Here, I will answer all your questions related to dance or maybe even non-related to dance. I will try to answer all your questions to the best of my ability and speaking from the experience that I have. Even if I don't know the answer, I will also say this just to be honest about it. With that said, this is not a how-to-do video. This is me just giving advice to you guys. Advice meaning this is not how to do it. This is not the true way. This is not the one way. This is my way and my experience and my way of understanding it. Yes? So this is not the truth. This is my truth. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first question is from uh, Tristan. Kevin, your dancing is amazing and your philosophy on dance has given me a whole new perspective uh, that really made me grow and understand more about dance. So thank you for that. My question is, how do you come up with your own signature moves? Much love from Cali, Tristan. Thank you, Tristan. So the first thing that is really important to know about signature moves is that it is something personal, yes? So in order to create signature moves, you have to have your dance and your life and connect them together. Why? Because if you're not connected, you cannot create signature moves because dance on its own, it's already set. All movement has been done. All whatever has been done, but there's only one you. So you have to find a way to get your own personality and your dance linked together. It comes from a feeling, you could say. You should not search for unique movement. You should just be yourself and the unique movement will come from how you interpret it or interpret your own, uh, your dance. How you interpret dance on its own. It's like the way you speak, yes? We all learn the same letters, we all learn the same words. But the way we speak the words, that's what makes it different. That's how people can separate you from other people. Oh, the way he says that, that's how he said it, right? The way you use your words is the way you use it and no one else uses it like that. And that's how it works with dance too. You have to dance more and get more into the feeling of connecting with the dance. You have to build a relationship with it, wherein the dance will understand and get to know you and you will get to know the dance. And with that, you will get to know yourself. When you know yourself, you're gonna be able to find uh, uh, your personal feelings towards dance and get your personal, how do you say this? Way of moving. From out of your personal way of moving will get will come your personal signature moves. Whew. <laughs> well, I hope that answered your question. Um, for me, I never thought of it. I never searched for signature moves. I just did what I liked the most and I would take what I liked the most and try to exploit it and try to find new ways of doing it, right? And because I found new ways of doing it, I would find something else that no one thought of because I did it from a personal feeling instead of from a what will look good feeling. Try to express, not impress, and that's the way you get it. I found another question that uh, kind of uh, is, on, is in the same type of topic. Uh, it's from Gilbert from Madrid. Hello Paradox. Hi. Um, I'm Gilbert from Madrid, Spain. First, I want to say you are so damn... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw your video, uh, your last video, and I need help or advice from you. Okay, right place. Uh, I started dancing hip-hop freestyle this year, and I would want, I would want to know how to create my own style because I have freestyle, more or less, but my problem is that people always tell me that I look like you when I'm dancing because I learned from your videos. I tried all kinds of practicings uh, like dislocation, energies, speeds, etc. but nothing works. Could you help me please? Thanks in advance. Well, Jilmer, Let's get into it. Um, it's like, actually like the last question a little bit. It's a little bit different, but it has the same principles. When you want to find your own dance, just do whatever you like. I always say this, try to learn as much as you can, 
as much styles as you can, as much ways as you can. Um, dance is like a, a huge painting, right? We have the canvas, which is our life, which is wherever we dance. We have our brush, our brushes, our bodies, and we have the colors. The colors is our techniques, yeah? If we only have one color, and we paint the tree with one color, the water with one color, uh, the whatever with one color, the painting is not going to be diverse, right? We're not going to be able to create whatever we picture in our minds and what we feel. So we need as much as colors as we can get so that we can create a really detailed pictures of our soul with our body. In order to do that, you have to try to learn as many as techniques as you can. You just started dancing, meaning you still have to develop a lot of uh, muscle memory. Muscle memory means I do something a lot of times and my body starts remembering the movement. You have to do a lot of techniques in order to uh, find your technique, in order to find what you like. If you do a lot of grooves, if you do a lot of flow and do a lot of isolation, maybe you'll find out groove is not your thing, isolation is more your thing. So your style is probably gonna be based on, be based on isolation. For instance, something like this. Uh, for the rest of the part, I already talked about it a little bit in the previous question. So I really hope this helps you and I really hope that you find yourself. Don't try to search for it too much because it will come to you. Don't try to force your body. Your body will talk to you and let you know what's right. Feel. Hey guys, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but the video has become a little bit too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna post it on uh, the Wednesday and the Friday. So part two, Wednesday, part three, Friday. And uh, if you really wanna know the next thing that I'm gonna talk about, check it out. Wednesday, Friday, Ask the Paradox. Peace.